hello guys today i'll be discussing about chi square test uh, while giving you some mnemonics and tricks to remember chi square test since chi square test uh, this is a very boring and very uninteresting topic for we the doctors since we are not mathematician or statistical analyzer so i'll be giving you some tips to remember this chi square test how to remember and how to correlate the mcq with this concept so chi square test it is a qualitative data used in testing hypothesis about nominal scale data it is used to examine differences between frequencies in a sample number of samples would at least be more than 30 these are some three important things about chi square test which you should remember and in my further slides where i'll be telling you about the mnemonics it will be more easier for you to remember about these three things uh, so always remember that it is qualitative and they are we usually use this chi test to uh, examine differences between two frequencies we will always differentiate and samples would be always big so chi square text uh, sorry chi square test this has been taken from dental pulse um, about the chi-square test and its application stream most important application that is proportion association goodness of fit and where most of the mcqs are related to this and where this is a concept and where if you understand this thing it will be very easy for you to answer the mcqs and correlate it so now let's come to the mnemonics portion so chi chi so chi chi when i first saw this word i used to pronounce chi square test as g square test because definitely obviously if we pronounce this uh, chi if we see it through hindi word then we will be pronouncing this as g c h i s g so forget it uh, like uh, forget like for now just let's just pronounce this as g instead of chi in order to remember the mnemonics which i will be giving you so we all know that g in hindi is an uh, exclamation of disgust something like whenever we feel like something is disgusting or something dirty we just we will use the word g uh, just uh, for an exclamation so you can see here for example when we uh, step on a poop dog's poop or anything will be like chi you this all is just exclamation like chi itna ganda so obviously if you find that something is chi ganda or something disgusting it's always better to keep distance from it or to stay away from that dirty thing so let's just keep gap from chi so here comes the word gap so from gap we have g a p now i'll be giving you the mnemonics it is like the applications of chi square test that is like uh, this uh, the mnemonics is g a p where g stands for goodness of fit a stands for association p stands for proportion so we all know that proportion is a ratio in which we will be comparing uh, between two uh, relative uh, relation magnitude or in which like there will be a relative magnitude of two quantities we will always be comparing this uh, from proportion uh, which is a ratio and association we will be associating some uh, variation connection between two variables so we will be comparing and goodness of it in which like the statistical mathematic calculations can be applied so these are the three most important applications of chi square test in statistics now let's come to gap so gap from g we made a mnemonics that is gap so we all know that gap is a brand it is an international brand which is uh, very very famous and which is definitely we all know that it is a costly brand so so that you get a better uh, memorization of the this mnemonics and also that you do not forget what i have what i'm teaching you what i'm telling you is you can see that Shahrukh khan i think this is a picture from i don't remember kuch kuch hota hai aur kabhi kusi kabhi gaum where he's wearing a sweatshirt of gap so in short i just want to tell you i just want you to remember something that is the reason i'm showing you this so gap is a branded product definitely if it is a branded product it will be of a very good quality it will be more of quality suppose you're going to a market and if you buy branded item definitely you will buy less because your budget will be less if you buy non-branded item suppose this website is four thousand so if you're going to buy something non-branded item from a non-branded item you'll get more quantity you will get more things so that will be quantity but since gap it's a branded item and it's costly so definitely we will pick one or two and then it will be of no uh, it will be long lasting so gap is a branded item therefore obviously it will have good quality from this remember that therefore chi square test is a qualitative data which i have shown you in my first slide sorry i pretend this is qualitative test but it is a uh, qualitative data so from here we can remember that chi square test is a qualitative data so here uh, we i think we are, every one of us knows that qualitative data is something which we cannot measure i'm just giving you this picture on mnemonics it doesn't mean that something rubbish stories i'm making 
I'm just I just want you to remember. So I'm making this as mnemonics. So I'll uh, I'm just uh, verif uh, verifying or just giving justification that uh, qualitative data is something which is not measurable. Like we have quantitative and qualitative data. So chi square test will come under qualitative data which is not measurable. Uh, like for example, um, uh, like the blood group. B blood group A, blood group B, these are not measurable, something which we cannot measure, like for example, comparison between black people, white people, a comparison between male, female, so this all will come under qualitative data, and quantitative data, data's example can be like height, weight, which we can measure, so in terms of chi-square test, it will be a qualitative data, any kind of height, weight, kind of, wherever there will be comparisons, chi-square test cannot be applied, it can only be applied in qualitative test, so now let's come to some MCQs, which of the following is true about chi-square test so here you can see that a is given as measures qualitative data c is given as measures the qualitative data between two proportion both of these are correct and this is a question from ems 2006 but you should not be in hurry and you should read the questions carefully because a is also correct but c is more correct because they have written about between two proportion more accurate so it cannot be b because it is measuring only qualitative not quantitative and for d measures the quantitative definitely d is not an option so c will be an option so where they are measuring the quantitative data between two proportion then question number 70 comparison of proportions can be made by definitely the answer is chi square test because the most important applications of chi square test are uh, proportions goodness of feet and association so chi square test will be the answer and in 71 chi square test is used to measure the degree of definitely which i again i have explained in my mnemonics where a stands for association gap association between two variables in place of question number b if the answer was given as goodness of feet you could have ticked the goodness of feet so this is also a question from ems 2006 so that definitely the answer is b that is the most important applications of chi-square test. And in question number 60, true regarding chi-square test is null hypothesis is equal. No, in chi-square test it is never equal. Uh, it will always be, it will be different. There will always be comparison between two things. Uh, it will not, the hypothesis will never be equal. It does not test the significance. We all know that chi-square te test, uh, it, it is used for testing the significance of the proportion, association, or any kind of goodness of fit. So the C, so C will be the most appropriate answer since uh, it does undergo the measures of the significance of difference between two proportion. So for chi-square test, for the other MCQs, I will be making more videos about it when I will be differentiating between pair test, unpaired test and chi-square test where I will be giving you more mnemonics and tips in uh, which will be my next video in my next video. So there we will be discussing more about the MCQs related to chi-square test, pair test, unpaired test, all the difference between this Fisher test, ANOVA test and all. So for today... This much is enough. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please do subscribe, like and share and if possible please comment on my video. Thank you.